Dear friends, I am very glad to announce today that in addition to my Telegram channel, I decided to launch a video blog. This has been long overdue for two main reasons. First, the need to defend truth silenced and censored by Western media. They drown the world into disinformation, lies and false narrative. All the uncomfortable views are suppressed. I personally experience this as Twitter is routinely trying to block my account or hide some of my postings, in particular those that go viral. Every opinion, every statement from the Russian side that makes them uncomfortable is labeled Russian propaganda. De facto, there is a new iron curtain imposed by the West today. At the same time, Western politicians and media promote crude fakes under blame it all on the Russian slogan. The goal is to trigger emotion and to silence your common sense. They want to make you feel confused, shocked, intimidated, and thus prone to manipulation. But the world is getting tired of it. It craves for truth. We here in the UN do our best to defuse this fog of war. Those who follow the Security Council meetings know that we present their factual evidence almost every day. However, this format has its limits, so the blog all allows me to go beyond them. This is the second reason why I decided to start this vlog. I will try to speak not as a public official, but as a voice of a common sense. I will give you first-hand facts and material evidence censored by the Western media. Nothing else but plain facts. And you are to make your own judgment. I decided to call it Defying the New Iron Curtain. Can't promise you to post entries frequently, but I will do what I can. Today, I will start with one of the most horrible pieces of disinformation recently promoted by the West, the airstrike on Kramatorsk. On April 8, a devastating strike with Tochka U missile was launched against railway terminal of the city of Kramatorsk, taking more than 50 lives and wounding about 100 people. All of them were civilians. Why do we insist that there is every reason to it, that it was Ukrainian military behind that? Let me turn to the facts. The city of Kramatorsk is controlled by, Ukrainian, by the Ukrainian side. Shortly before the provocation, they announced evacuation, which gathered lots of people in one place, railway terminal. Then they cynically hit it with a Tochka U and accused Russia right away. They said Russian military had targeted the terminal with an Iskander missile. But look at the footage from the scene. It points at the at direct opposite. Debris found there let us easily identify the type of the missile. Iskander uses missiles with tail fins only. They have no fins in the mid section, while Tochka U has fins precisely in the middle, which you can clearly see on the footage. So, beyond any doubt, Kramatorsk was targeted with a Tochka U. Take a closer look at the photos of the missile wreckage. Thanks to eyewitnesses, we have these pictures taken and shared before the arrival of uh, Ukrainian special services. Ukrainian officials hoped that no one would ever see it that close. From the picture, you can identify the serial number of the Tochka U that hit Kramatorsk. It belongs to Sh in Russian 915 series. Ukrainian armed forces used missiles of the same series on many occasions to shell 
peaceful cities and civilian objects of Donbas. Judging by the scattering of missile debris, experts have already figured out the trajectory of the missile. Take a look at where the tail part of the missile landed and where its head section exploded. You see? Just draw a straight line and you will see that the strike had come from western direction where Ukrainian armed forces hold positions. So this was a carefully premeditated false flag attack. Besides, everyone knows that Russian troops do not have Tochka U systems in their arsenals, nor do the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics. Ukrainian armed forces, however, actively use them. Those are the facts. Conclusions are up to you. The evidence confirming that the attack on Kramatorsk was carried out by the Ukrainian forces is unbeatable. Probably this is the reason why our Western colleagues have virtually stopped mentioning Kramatorsk in their statements. And this is exactly the reason why I feel obliged to reveal all this to you. So, this is the truth. More is to follow. Stay tuned.